Dundee Knight vs Rangers is the first Scottish Premiership game coming up this weekend, taking place at Tanadice obviously, and these are two teams looking to respond after both of their last performances. Now, Dundee Knight are coming off a tough game, a tough opening game, Aberdeen at Pataudry, they lost 2-0, but what would be concerning for Dundee United is the performance, their performance in that game was really, really bad. They sat really deep. They were cut open by Aberdeen quite a lot, even though they sat really deep as well. And when they did have the ball and they got up to the attackers, they didn't really offer much threat anyway. And when they did have the ball, they only had they only managed uh, one shot on target, sorry. And I actually think it's going to be a tough, tough season for Dundee United. And Rangers' last game was a huge game, a Champions League qualifier against Malmo, where they lost 2-1. And if it wasn't for Stephen Davis's strike, they would have been 2-0 down. And it came in like 90 plus 5. So they were quite lucky to get that away goal, but it's a huge away goal for Rangers. What would be concerning for Rangers is obviously they conceded two goals within the start of the second half. So they conceded two quick fire goals. They weren't concentrated and it was just two laps of concentration. In contrast to Dundee United though last week, Rangers had a great opening game against Livingston where they won 3-0. They played some great football in that game, there were some great performances, the performances of last year when they won the championship, unbeaten by the way, so the Tavernier, Tavernier was great last week, uh, Scott Wright was great, uh, Stephen Davis, Connor Goldson, they've got the quality Rangers and we know that from last season especially, we know that Rangers have the quality and they are the champions and I think they will show that on Saturday. Rangers enjoy dominating the ball and they did that last week with Livingston even though it was at home and I think this week at Dundee United they will dominate the ball as well at Tanadice. and what is key for Dundee United to do well in this game is when Rangers don't have the ball and they win it back off them what they do at the other end can they move the ball quickly build something get up to the attacking players like Lawrence Shankland can they offer something Rangers to worry about because that's the key to them winning the game if Rangers know there's no threat really going that way, then they'll just like squeeze them in and just keep battering the goal and it'll be a 3 or 4 0 scoreline, I reckon. But fans will be back for Dundee United this weekend at Tanadice, so that'll be huge. That'll be really big for Dundee United. It'll give them that extra yard, that extra motivation to keep battling, battling hard. And that's what they need to do against Rangers. They need to make it a tough, tough uh, afternoon, sorry, for Rangers make them think, oh no, this is really tough. Like say in the Premier League, like a Burnley, like a Burnley, right? When a Man City or a Liverpool go to, go to Burnley, they're like, oh no, this is really tough. They need to try and make it like that. So my prediction for this game is going to be a 2-1 win to Rangers. Rangers are going to have to work hard this win, I think. I think Dundee United are going to put up a fight this time. Not like they didn't do it last week, but they're going to put in a much better performance, especially with the fans there. So yeah, I'm going to go for a 2-1 Rangers win. Thanks guys for watching this video, really appreciate it. Put in the comments what you think will be happening in this game. Do you think Rangers will win? Do you think Dundee United will win? Or maybe it will be a draw. Who, who knows, we'll find out. Uh, but thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe guys. I'm going to try and do more football content. going to be daily content coming out. So uh, yeah, like and subscribe and I'll see you later. Thanks.